and assalamu alaikum my name is fakisha and my group members name are kashif anwar and shiva boss today i am pr- going to present my dlp uh, lab project that is a line follower so in my lab project i am using four input and from uh, four analog uh, ir sensors and i'm going to run two motors that are left motor and a right motor uh, from the from those input i have to design a, a combination logic circuit uh, for uh, for its implementation so here i have made a truth table for these are the four inputs that is my left sensor uh, these are two my center sensor and this is my right sensor input so this uh, center uh, i have made a logic for these two center uh, sensors and that they would be on the line so they have to detect the black line and this and these two left and right sensor have to detect the white surface of the uh, of any uh, of any base that uh, on which our robot will be moving so these uh, motor have to be controlled by these uh, sensors so this is a truth table so there are 16 logics made by these four sensors so the first uh, so um, what is zero and one uh, for our sensors so uh, for zero that is a black line that is our ir sensor is when it uh, it does not get the it's back the reflected uh, ir infrared rays and so as the black absorbs the infrared rays so it doesn't get back so our uh, sensor gets a zero input whereas as white surface reflects the uh, infrared rays so our sensor gets the input that is one so it takes a white as it's off the line and not on the line sensor is not on the line and on line uh, that is the sensor is on the line is the black that is a zero input. so uh, so this is the uh, case when all are oh uh, sorry this is the case when the all the so zeros that is are all the sensor for sensor are det- detecting uh, black line it is the only case when our uh, when our a um, motor should stop that is the t junction uh, the, when the our motor should stop and our uh, rover or robot should stop and on others all the other uh, uh, logics uh, some of the motor should work or all the motor should work so in the first case uh, i will uh, show you how the system is working by discussing a few of the cases so in this first case when it's one so that is the right sensor is one it uh, shows that uh, it is off the line uh, the white surface and the mo- and these all other are zero and is sl should not detect zero as uh, it should be off the line uh, which is uh, this is our main case that is 100 is our ideal case that is this left and right sensor should be uh, on the white surface and this uh, center to uh, Uh, sensor should be on the line so then our both the motor should work so in this second case when uh, this uh, left sensor was not detecting that it was not on the of the line and was on the line so our right uh, motor should work it should work and bring this uh, left sensor on the line as it is moving uh, away from the surface or the line so in a similar way over here when left and center both are detecting one but here these uh, centers should be zero so it means it is all off the line from the center so our left motor should work to bring them on the line in order to move them on the other direction and the second motor the right motor should be zero so according to this truth table this truth table I have uh, we have designed a K map for the left motor and the right motor and from those after solving the K map uh, we have come came up with these equations uh for the formula so from this formula we have made the combination circuit this is a combination circuit diagram for the this is for the left motor and this is for the right motor so on implementing this um uh combination logic circuit we have designed this uh, simulation in the proteus so over here 
this is our battery system so this is our battery uh, it is a 18650 uh, that is we will use two cells of that to make a battery and here is a voltage regulator that will convert that voltage into five volts that is uh, for the ICs so that our ICs might not burn off and for here battery connection I made uh, for the uh, PCB layout because uh, there was there was no any PCB layout for this battery uh, connection so this I have made this battery and I have made this battery connection for the PCB layout is 705 and here I have made circuit combination of a circuit uh, so here I have used the uh, bubbles uh, so that my complexity might reduce uh, and I have easy understanding of which input is going for the which output so by doing that so here I have seal connectors these seal connectors are helping me in the PCB I will show you later and here are my motors this is left motor and right motor uh, here is our truth table and here is the same uh, logic that I have discussed and here are four uh, IR sensors so we will be implementing this I will run the simulation so here you can see that when I have run my main uh, the ideal case that is when my center will be on the line center dot both the IR sensor the SC1 and SC2 are on the line my and my SL left sensor and the SRI sensor are off the line uh, so my motors are running you can see my motors are running they are very running slowly I don't know why the speed is slow but they are running that might be of the voltage or my system is slow but they are moving so in similar way if I have to take a turn that is I want to move my right motor that is 0, 0, 0, 1, that is my right center should be 1 and the left should be 0 so my right motor should be moving and left should be 0 so here this motor should be moving you can see it's moving but it's zero here like that so if I want to move ML which is my left motor I have to make all the others one and SR zero SR which should be zero and this all should be one So, in this case, wait a minute, one, 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 zero. So, in this case, now my MR motor is has stopped, and my left motor is running. You can see. So, and this ML and MR connection are only for PCB layout, because motor has no PCB. Yeah. So if I move on to the PCB section, here I have designed PCB. So we have designed a complete PCB uh, with the IR sensor connections, and not for only for the combination lecture, a uh, combination uh, logic circuit. We have uh, we wanted to make a PCB that should be uh, in itself should be a uh, robot base and in itself should be the connection for everything so it's a whole robot base and a PCB as well so over here if I see here I have the three ICs and three gates um, and the 7404 IC's 7408 IC and 4075 IC and this is the voltage regulator 705 uh, here are two motor connection ML and MR and uh, I have wired it I wanted to make it more on the 
bottom copper but some other connections uh, have gone on the top layer which we will be implementing by using connective wires and this is the battery connection and this back one is the uh, wheel the third wheel of the plan so this is a full scale uh, pcb that is 17 centimeter long and 9 centimeter wide so if i go to 3d visualizer here you can see this is the pcb layout this our robot should be and robot should be look like look like this and we will element practically so here is the heat sink with the 705 here are three ic's with the seal connectors uh, battery connection uh, battery holder uh, and there are two motors okay the third wheel these are ir sensors so this is a complete packet uh, a complete robot so i think this was uh, it for the simulation and the our work that we have done up till now so our next work will be uh, implementation of this all into a real pcb and a real robot so this is our breadboard implementation of our circuit so we have over here batteries voltage regulator leds and four sensor and ic's all connected through wires on the breadboard so this is the right most sensor uh, of our uh, of our of our project and this is the left most sensor this is the center two sensors um, which will be on the line the right most will be off the line uh, and the left most will be also off the line so this is a voltage regulator uh, the battery regulator regulates the voltage input voltage to 5 volts and this 5 volt is then given to uh, the ICs and the uh, sensors so we have used three uh, uh, ICs over here of uh, three gates which are AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate 7404, 7408 and 4075 respectively so the our batteries of uh, 9 volts it gives 9, 7 to 9 volts and this regulates the regulator regulates to 5 volts and then this 5 volts is given to ICs and the RF sensor as they both operate on the 5 volts so uh, in, a, in order to decrease the current and uh, and so that our ICs do not blast uh, blow up we have used capacitors so these are two um, leds uh, which will indicate the motors this is a right led indicating right motor and second one is a left led indicating left motor we have not used uh, the motor driver and the motors in this implementation only to uh, demonstrate it that uh, how these sensors are working in real world so on breadboard so in this implementation uh, we have done this with the sensors and the uh, ICs so this uh, we will demonstrate you how these uh, motors uh, LEDs which are indicated by LEDs uh, work with these sensors so so you can see if If these both left and right uh, sensors are off the line, the LED sh uh, should be running because uh, because these two sensors which are in the middle are, are on the black surface or on the so there is no difference. They should uh, the motor should be working. But if the two of the one side two uh, sensors of the one sides are blocked uh, or off the line the that motor should be off and the other motor should work to bring it to or uh, bring the center two sensors on the line so if uh, the right ones are off the left motor should bring it and if the left most are off the right motor should bring it so this work oppositely so it doesn't uh, affect if one of the sensor is off but if two to three sensors are off the line the, uh, the 
they work to bring the center to sensors on the line so this this was the implementations uh implementation barboard implementation of our circuit if i block all the sensors you see the uh, robot stops so here we have this wheel development process we have uh, taken the print of the bottom copper uh, or the butter paper or sticky paper and we have pressed it on the uh, copper plate so this is the print we got on pressing on the PCB board so after doing that we have done the etching process we have uh, made the etching solution uh, we have made the FCL3 and water solution and then dip our PCB board into it and give it uh, to 10 to 20 minutes for the process of eating so it all depends on the quantity of FCL3 that we put in the water so after this eating process when all eating was done we have uh, washed the surface out and, and moved this uh, black coating out so that we got the copper So this is after uh, removing the black uh, print, this we got the uh, bottom copper and after that we uh, rail out the holes from the surface and then soldered the components onto the PCB board. So. so this is our uh, robot that is completing a lap on the line is forming line perfectly so that was it from this video thank you very much